Audi Q3 2018 model. As you know, we will start with the front part of the car. To be honest with you, I think the car looks far better from the back, comparative with the front. Big air grill um, from Audi with this big Audi logo here. Plastic cover that is in a different color comparative with the other parts from the front. These headlights are Xenon equipped and they have also incorporated the signaling light. Plastic parts which uh, has which have the parking sensors on both sides of course. Quattro inscription here because we have a four-wheel drive car. 2.0 TFSI 180 horsepower and 320 newton meter. It's a petrol engine. The car actually weights 1650 kilos. Yeah, because we have also the four-wheel drive system. It's bigger than an A3, but it's smaller than a Q5. Okay, come with me to show you also the right side of the car. Yeah, to be honest with you, the car doesn't impress me from the sides. 4.4 meters long car, 1.8 meters in uh, width and 1.6 meter high. The ground clearance is around... 17 centimeters, which means that the car has more the characteristic of a SUV than a limousine or a hatchback. You can see here a plastic, some plastic protectors. So we are at the back side of the car. Two aggressive taillights, two inscription, Q3 on the left and the TFSI Quattro. The trunk has 460 liters bigger that, that you can get in the Audi A3. Two real exhausts actually two big exhaust I would say. Parking sensors, we don't have a back camera. Let's have a look also in the inside. Conventional controls for windows, side mirrors and locking or unlocking the car. Quite a big steering wheel, covered in leather with commands on both sides. Good materials inside, a lot of metal which is already well known at Audi. The dashboard is analog with the multimedia function display placed between the dials. Right above the central console, the well-known Audi MMI interface comes on a 6.5-inch retractable media display screen, which is not so impressive comparative with the one you find at competitors. Even though it is similar with the one from Audi A1 we had on episode 5, I'm very tempted to say that the feedback you get from it is better, at least when using the navigation. This version comes with heated seats configurable on three levels of intensity. ESP, parking sensor and start-stop buttons are also available. The gearbox, a 7-speed automatic S-Tronic. Otherwise, good seats, more space than in A3, but even if the car is sufficiently big, I would have expected for more. 
the people from the back will not enjoy the same comfort and space. As already said, we have a quattro transmission, so this sacrifices some considerable space for the middle person in the back. The transmission tunnel is almost 10 cm high compared to the car floor. Audi Q3, the Audi premium small SUV car. It's been around a couple of years now and it shows a little bit of its age in a few fields, but it's still a desirable upmarket small SUV. With more than 400,000 cars sold in 8 years in Europe, Audi has definitely made a car that found its audience. Either as a front-wheel drive or a quattro, the Audi Q3 8U model was manufactured from 2011 until mid-2018 by SEAT at its factory in Barcelona, Spain. Some say that the car is nothing but a bigger A3. Is this true? Let's find out! As you already know, I would like to make an analysis based on four aspects. Price versus what you get and what some other options are. Who should buy this car? What is its audience? Good things versus bad things? And how was my experience driving it? What are the conclusions? Almost 41,000 euros for the Q3. I will start with the fact that yes, it is a small SUV, and this is important to be understood properly. The difference between a small SUV and a proper SUV is quite big, but more regarding this later on. The inside of the car looks nice, with metal and good quality plastic everywhere. The TFSI engine provides a good feedback, although the car is heavy, 1650 kilos. The quattro transmission makes the car heavy, but it is also responsible for the good grip. The trunk capacity 460 liters. Well, to be honest, I would have expected for more, but then maybe that's why we have the Q5. Competitors 43,000 euros BMW X1, 46,000 euros Range Rover Evoque, 38,000 euros Volkswagen Tiguan, 36,500 euros Seat Ateca. 50,000 euros Lexus NX, 39,500 euros Volvo XC40, 45,000 euros Mercedes-Benz GLA. The BMW X1, 2 liter, 192 horsepower, 8 speed automatic gearbox, more than 640,000 units sold on the European market, I personally find a very nice option even if I think Quattro is much better than the X-Drive. Range Rover Evoque, 2 liter SI4, 240 horsepower, 9 speed automatic gearbox, 4 wheel drive, but without the active driveline feature, almost 380,000 units sold. The Brits redefined the car concept, that's why the Evoque looks quite different from its competitors. At least 5,000 euro more expensive than the Q3, but if you want something different, you should consider it. Volkswagen Tiguan, the older brother of the Q3. Same engine, same gearbox, 1.35 million units sold. As usual, it's not built to be premium, like the Audi, but it's more practical. More space, more attractive inside and more features. The last version seems to be an amazing success as in the last 2.5 years, more than 600,000 units were sold. Seat Ateca, 2 liter TSI 190 horsepower, 7 speed DSG gearbox, almost 170,000 units sold. It is a new member in our list as the production started in 2016. Almost same dimension as the Q3, but much lighter and a bigger trunk. Lexus NX, 2 liter 238 horsepower, 6-speed automatic gearbox, almost 80,000 units sold. The biggest, the heaviest, the most expensive and the most attractive car of the segment. For 50,000 euros, you get a lot of personality and technology. And a samurai car. The very interesting Volvo XC40 comes with a 2-liter 190 horsepower, 7-speed automatic gearbox who won the European Car of the Year title in 2018. 
It is the newest member in our list being manufactured from end 2017 with almost 50,000 units sold in Europe. Coming with almost the same feature as Q3 and being less expensive, the XC40 is definitely a serious competitor for our actor today. Last but not least in our list, Mercedes-Benz GLA comes with a 2 liter 211 horsepower, 7 speed automatic gearbox and is the smaller and less heavier competitor for the Q3. Manufactured since 2014, with more than 320,000 units sold in Europe, the GLA is definitely a proper Mercedes. Well, what would you choose? What would be the audience for Q3? Couples, or let's say maybe families, that have maximum one child with them. The car is not intended to be used by bigger families. Good things versus bad things. This time we traveled to Basel and Zurich, Switzerland. This is the second part of our episode, don't miss it. As positive facts, I would mention the fact that it is an Audi. Good quality materials, good feeling being inside the car, nice maneuverability. 180 horsepower for a 1.65 ton car is not too much, but a quarter transmission makes the difference. The car is agile. Negative points. Unfortunately, there are some I experienced over our 1,300 km trip to Switzerland. First of all, do you remember when I said in the beginning that you need to understand the car is a small SUV and not actually an SUV? Well, yes, this I experienced mostly as a driver. The driving position is a little bit too odd and it makes you feel a little bit uncomfortable on a long trip. Somehow this was strange for me. In other words, it is comfortable for the front right passenger. The driver will not feel comfortable on a long journey because of the driving position and so the people in the back because of the lack of space. I somehow feel the people would buy it because they want something more than they can get from an A3 but they find the Q5 too big. To be honest, I think the Q3 has more things in common with the A3 than the Q5. And I'm tempted to say people believe is the other way around. For me, the car doesn't look so interesting. I mean, besides from the RS Q3, which has some personality, I find the Q3 pretty boring and a little bit outdated. From the end 2018, there is a new Audi Q3, which will be manufactured in Hungary at Gyor. New engine configuration, completely new aspect, both inside and outside, better looking, much more personality. Let's sum up. 3 days, 1300 km in Germany and Switzerland. As an overview, we were pleased about the experience, but we were not impressed. The price is not bad, even if the Tiguan and Ateca are really good competitors, but you don't need to forget Q3 comes with a better quality and the Quattro.